Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another, well this is actually a different game, this is the uh, PlayStation Plus uh, game of the month, or free game that we get, uh, Bloodborne, um, I'll be probably honest and say that it's a game that I probably would never buy myself, oh, um, yeah. Hell. but I'm actually quite enjoying it. <laughs> Quite tough. Uh, it's not well, easy. You've come to the right place. So you're just going to do a little video. Yarnum is the home of blood. Just a little bit different. You need only unravel its mystery. You unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's easy. With a bit one of the good things about having a, a PlayStation Plus, you know, you do get three games every month. First, some of them are not that that great, but. Games like this that, that come along are, are pretty good. Uh, I was actually up quite quite late this morning. I kind of I was going to go up early, but uh, my alarm went off, and well, uh, I kind of dozed back over. So by the time I got up, it was near. A, I'm trying to think, if it was near a nine o'clock there. I really should come up with quite a. Like a kind of name that fits, and not just my name. Bet if I spelt my name right, that 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 would be a really good start. Beast would be better. Well, you can't actually go. You can't get any more than that. Is that all you can get? Oh. Right, I'll just put my name in. <laughs> I was going to come up with a kind of smarty pants name, but I'm just going to put my name in. So yeah, I've I've I've, I've saw a lot of people play this game. I probably say that quite a lot in my videos, but I do watch quite a lot of Twitch and YouTube, so I'll go mature. No, if I'll go aged, might be better. Uh, I'll go one survivor. I think I actually did. I not would. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this guy. This guy looks kind of cool. Oh, you want to play fetch Vader? Oh, it's too far away, I can't get it. My, my cat plays fetch. I've probably said this before in my videos, but... Uh, so let's finish that. But uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people play it, and uh, it's quite difficult. It's quite a difficult game. Uh, I have played it a little bit, just... Uh, the past couple of days. I don't know whether, again, I don't think I'll make a series. I do need to get some other uh, games going, but because I've got my wheel back, I need to get back into the way of driving. Uh, just kind of brush off the, the cobwebs, so to speak. Um, Good. So. All signed and sealed. This guy's no, quite scaled. It's quite a big hat he's got. Oh, but as I say, this this is a game that you know when it came out, I actually probably think it all bad thought about buying it. But it's probably a game that I, I probably would never really put money <laughs> over the counter. <sighs> so to say, that's not a good game because it is a really good game, but it's not my style of gameplay. A bit like uh, racing games, like Need for Speed. Um, the kind of Forza 7 Horizon in the Xbox. Not that I've got an Xbox, but that style of game, I just, uh, of racing game, I, I just don't like it. I don't enjoy it. Uh, Gravel's the same. Uh, I actually, I watched somebody play Gravel and. It's a scary looking thing. I, I really just didn't like it from the, the get go. Um, 
I actually downloaded the demo knowing full well that I, I wasn't going to like it. Um, it. I mean, it drives easy enough when you put all the, the assists off, you can still drive it, so it's not like... It's not like you need really good skill level to, to play it. Uh, and I just don't like that, that kind of do a race, do another race, do another race, do another race kind of scenario. And I know that like Project Cars 2, Gran Turismo, um, a set of Corsa, are racing games as well, and all, all you do is race in that, but it's a different style of racing. It's not, it's not that kind of monotonous, same type of race all the time. I just, no. And crashing into barriers should be a hindrance, not a bonus points. So that's just me, though. And you know, people will handwritten scroll seek pale blood to tr transcend the hunt. Okay. I've actually done this little bit, so I kind of know you don't get a weapon until you get to that certain point. I tried to defeat this, this kind of, like a, almost like a big wolf type thing down here. I actually tried to, I tried to actually beat it with my fists, uh, and really didn't, didn't really do too well. So we've, we've, we, I know all the attack moves. I'm maybe not going to be like super good at, you know, defending and doing defensive stuff. Um, so here's this big beast, so what we're going to do is, we're just going to go... Horrible looking thing. Don't open that door, open that door, open that door. I wonder if we can actually shut this door behind you. Because, yep. Yeah, he's coming. I'm really just going to run the first part. We don't have any weapons whatsoever. And I'm going to avoid this guy. I don't know if he comes up the stairs. Hopefully not. Oh, cheers. Yeah, we're gonna go to the hunters. Whatever it is, dream or something it's called. <clears throat> what was I talking about before? I can't remember. Uh, I think I was talking about gravel and stuff. Um, those types of games. Yeah, I just don't. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm more a kind of simulation kind of kind of person. So I think I can sell stuff here. anything at the moment. I mean, assuming this dog doesn't really activate. Here we go, we can get a weapon. Now we've got, we've actually got three. We've got the Hunter's Axe, the Saw Cleaver and the Threaded Cane. Um, I think somebody said that the, the Axe is obviously a bit more powerful but the saw cleaver is the kind of best kind of like rounded weapon overall so we're going to take that I don't know why I did I don't know what that is but whatever it is it actually takes us down which is not good and the blunder bus is a bit more, is not as accurate, so we're going to go with the, the pistol. We've 
I've got the notebook. So let's go and set this up. So I'll set that with a saw cleaver. I think this is your, your left handed weapon. So we've put the pistol. Quick links. Sacrifice all body echoes and awakening you. So we'll put them. We'll put them in those quick slots just now. This old guy in the wheelchair. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just my style of gameplay. Whoa. Did I. Did I. Quit that. Okay, because I, I put my controller down. I must have. Do so I just do it. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. At least the night carry on forever. Okay. I don't think we can get anything else here. We've got certain things we can store weapons and stuff. Um, but at the moment, we don't really have much to store. So. Back to central Yarnum, I take it. I wonder if this guy's still going to be here. Oh, yeah, I got your point to get a couple of videos sort of done this morning, but... Right, I thought that was going to take us back to... Well, in saying that, we need to kill this beast, don't we? Here he is. I didn't think he was dead there for a second. Nope, you sneeze. I don't think there's anything else here, really. Nah. So this, oh my god, I can't actually, and there, there's the stairs there. Yeah, this game's offline at the moment. Uh, when you're online, you get a lot of like, stuff popping up all the time. And I think it can get quite dis distracting, to be honest. So initially we pick up quite a lot of stuff, but the last session I did die a lot, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's I'm probably a little bit better now at the combat type thing than before. There's a guy just up here, just dragging his axe. Dispatch of him easily enough. I mean, the more sort of like cautious we are, we can actually have a lot of blood vials and stuff. Cocktails could be handy. I'll probably still end up dying a lot in this. Yeah. 
hunter. You must and be your hunter. I'm around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You <sighs> must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't it's quite an like atmospheric type to, of game. But I'm to I don't really get scared at playing these kind of things. You do get a couple of jump scares. Um, but this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might I'm be, not really too bothered that way. Exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> Blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. The birthplace of the healing church. <laughs> or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, here we go. So I've, I've done this first bit quite a few times. I've died a lot though. It's getting to one of these save kind of lamps or whatever it is. Look at all these guys here, look. Oh my goodness. So we've got some pebbles. Those guys are pretty easy to get. I love how you run over the bodies and you kind of drag them and kick them and stuff. It's kind of scary at the same point. So we got this big gaggler. People here. Some. I should have waited for my card. It's got unnecessary. Kind of took a little bit of damage there because I just went to. to L it. Lanterns are. I thought you could maybe get something from them or save. I really need to find the save point. Oh, there's something coming. Oh, he's waving. Just 
the devil's coming. No. So I know that there's a guy here. He's just waiting in the corner. Too bad though. Because the first time you probably go for that body and check it, this guy just comes out of here like, like Randy Autumn. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. This is, I would say, well, this is the tricky bit here because we've got a lot of enemies over here. Yeah, there's somebody coming. Get him. So I think I'll, I'll probably stay here and kind of wheel these guys up this these stairs because it's quite a good set of defense. This guy starts shooting at us, so we've got to be careful with him. In fact, we might actually just go and get him. Because he can be quite annoying, he'll just shoot bullets at you. He's got, a, he's got a gun. When they, when they come at you all together, that's that's the most difficult thing. You've got to be really careful. Because you're taking hits from the side. So there's somebody over there. Just, I think we got the guy that was the. Yeah, we did. I don't know where the save point is. I, I probably should have maybe worked out where that was. Sell if you want, can't doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. I'll be end, the end of my YouTube channel. Okay. I end up dying. 
was kind of distracted there a little bit, to be honest. That's my wife just back, so I'm, I, I kind of went out of my game game face. So all that good work, all that stuff that we've done, we've kind of lost a little bit of it. I had actually quite a good run there, so it's kind of annoying that we got that we died. So that's the thing we need to find, that type of thing there. guys to do again. So we know where all these enemies are, it's not as if it's... I mean, we shouldn't really be surprised by anything. Just means we've got to do it all again, that's the only thing. It's kinda... I, I wouldn't say it's annoying. Place to take these guys out actually because they come up this stair and it, it almost kind of it's a single file, which is good. I think I'm going to jump down. I, I know we went this way before. Oh! 
is actually a bit tricky. We, we've got quite a lot of enemies here. I'll probably end this, this recording here. Um, I was actually doing that well till, till my wife came back and she kind of semi-distracted me a little bit. Because um, we were actually doing pretty well. But again, we're back to this, this part. But I'm kind of enjoying the... It kind of repeats itself, that's the only thing, but... I suppose the trick is staying alive and just moving on to the next point. I take it there will be like a save point. Um, probably really, I, I don't know if I want to know where that is. Because I'm enjoying just, enjoying just playing the, the game as it is. But it's, it's, a really, it's a really good game. It's a game that I didn't really think that I would play. But I started playing it and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the, the kind of set up of it. But anyway, wait till we see, I'll just... I'm actually going to come back. So that, we'll save that anyway. We can always resume it at some point. But yeah, it's a... It's a, it's a pretty decent game. It's a good game for free. Uh, there is actually the... Um, DLC for it, it's only about £5. Um, the Game of the Year edition's out for 15 online, but I can buy that um, DLC pack, which actually make, give, gives you the, the, the Game of the Year edition, basically, gives you that DLC content, so I might actually potentially buy that, but that is going to conclude this uh, episode, probably a little bit in a different game. Whether I, I will continue making the videos of this, I don't know, we'll, we'll wait and see, but anyway, Take care, have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.